What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast, I had a bit of quinoa salad. For lunch, I didn't have anything. And for dinner, uh, we're gonna be having sloppy joes and I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I uh, woke up, sorry. I immediately grabbed my phone and started looking at my exercise. I woke up at around eight. Um, no, I woke up at 8.30 um, and I um, had to get on the treadmill by 9.45 because my dad was doing like jury selection or something. Um, and so, and his, your microphone has to be on the whole time you're doing jury selection. So um, I didn't want to be upstairs um, where the treadmill isn't uh, while my dad was um, doing his thing. So um, Luckily, everything coincided perfectly. I had, a, I had some coffee. I made some coffee. Um, and I was able to, um, you know, uh, I was able to um, eat some quinoa salad and watch my fit and, you know, watch some stuff and charge my watch. My watch was perfectly charged just in time for him to get into jury selection. So, so we went downstairs before before he was able to go into jury selection, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, our iPad, and we use our um, we use our iPad to, I, I use the iPad to watch stuff um, while I'm on the treadmill, and I used to use this bad Android tablet, but because of something that was my bad, I dropped the Android tablet, and I thought there was nothing wrong with it until I turned it on the next day, and I realized that um, I had like crumpled the headphone jack into itself. Um, so there was no headphone jack anymore, and also there was like yellow emanating on the screen from where um, the the headphone jack was crumpled. Uh, so that's my bad, right? But um, you know, uh, I've been using the iPad because it's just it's just so infinitely better, you know, in just every way. And I've been using the iPad on the treadmill, but it's hooked up to my dad's Apple ID. So that means I got all his, no all his notifications and stuff, and it means it doesn't automatically switch my headphones from my phone to my to the iPad, um, and it's just very very bothersome. Um, so I want to ask my dad if I can, s and my dad never uses his iPad. He he never like it's technically his, um, but he never ever ever. I haven't even seen him hold it in like six months, right? Um, so at some point I might ask him to maybe. Maybe if I can connect it to my app, since I use it all the time, but maybe it's too soon. He got it like last year, so maybe it's still, I don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so then I went on the treadmill, and uh, normally I do like a walk and then a run, and then a walk, uh, but this time I, me I immediately went to a run. Um, I was, I sort of jogged, I, I did 5.2 miles an hour on the treadmill, and I jogged for um, an hour and 15 minutes. Um, I jogged seven miles. Um, I burned 958 calories and my average heart rate was 151. Um, and then after that, you know, I wanted to exercise until noon because that's when the jury selection ends. Um, and so after that, I just did a two mile walk that took 36 minutes and I burned 373 calories, and my average heart rate was 126. Um, so, yeah, today, all together, I burned 1,434 calories, and yeah. Um, I've been, um, last night, I was very, very, very stressed out about um, my server stuff, uh, and I don't know. I don't know if I've described this issue to you guys. Um, I may have yesterday, but I, I forgot what was in my video yesterday. Um, I think I described it to you guys yesterday, I think. I don't know, if I didn't, I'm just talking about something for no reason, I don't know. Other than that, nothing else has really happened today. Um, I have this horrible habit where I just read things on the arch wiki and I just copy paste them over and they don't work and I don't know why and then I read right above it and I found out why it didn't work. Um, and so, um, I'm trying to really kick that habit. Um, I'm trying to figure out, right now, this very moment, I'm trying to figure out why, um, 
this. My server didn't mount through through FSTAB because it should be, and I don't know why it's not. Um, but yeah, all right. Um, I hope everybody has a good day. And yeah, all right. Let's see you, dude. Oh, check this out. There's this company called Zellerfield. Zellerfield? I don't know. I think they might be a British company. And, uh... Oh, I think they have... Oh, no, my internet's just slow. They make these 3D printed shoes. And uh, the really interesting thing about them... Oh, it says it right here. They're fully recyclable, and they're made completely, like, automatically, you know? Like, there's no, like... There's, like, no, if any, human effort put into the shoes. Um, and that's an example of one of them. Um, yeah. And it's just, it's just really, really, you know, I talk about how Brave is so much faster than Libre Wolf, and then you see that my Wi-Fi is really slow. I swear it's only slow sometimes. Um, it, or we just have a bad router. Um, but yeah, sadly their shoes are very expensive. Um, but, you know, they look very interesting. And I've watched some videos about them. Apparently they're uh, pretty comfortable, um, but they're a little heavy, um, and I just think that it's really cool how, um, almost no human effort is put into the shoes themselves, um, and they're, like, just 3D printed. That one's got a face on it. That's crazy. Um, can you see that? Yeah, okay. Maybe my webcam is too big, but yeah, it's just really cool. Uh, this one's in collaboration with Pangaea, and it's, it kind of looks like a sock. Let's see if it loads. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, there we go. It looks like that. Um, and I know about Pangaea because they're, they make um, some pretty ethically made like garments, like hoodies and stuff in Portugal. And I learned about them from my sweatpant research, which I'm yet to find the, the perfect sweatpants that I want to get. Um, which honestly, I think these might be the perfect sweatpants. But I want, I want back pockets, you know, and I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, and something really cool about them is instead of, you can put in your shoe size and then they just send them to you, but um, uh, you can get them custom um, and they, you, you scan your feet on like an app and then it like, is fit to your foot and I'm not sure how well that works I have pretty wide feet and I noticed that um, you know maybe some of these aren't extremely wide um, but um, I don't know if it would work it's really interesting um, and yeah I think that's it all right um, see you dude